Welcome again everybody to a new session uh, in which we try to uh, uh, understand or we try to uh, know the radiographic interpretation of some cases which might be interesting uh, to in our daily work and one of the uh, interesting cases as you can see in this OPG is the radiographic appearance of uh, that proves or that indicate uh, of, of radiographic features that would indicate a close relation between the apical part of the uh, root or the apex of the root and the inferior dental canal. In this OPG, of course, uh, uh, what you can see here is can see here is a, a, a radiograph uh, of a patient with uh, multiple uh, lost teeth. This is not our concern now. What we are concerned about is the two uh, 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 mesioangular impaction of the left and right third molars. Those teeth are, uh, have not erupted into the oral cavity and the reason behind this actually we will uh, discuss in this uh, uh, based upon the radiographic appearance. If we start from the left side we will see that we w first of all if we want to understand we have to the, know the anatomy of course and we have to locate where is the inferior dental canal. Inferior dental canal naturally it will appear in the radiograph whether it's periapical or something or intraoral I mean or extraoral it will appear as a radiolucency okay starting from the mandibular foramen and then uh, and then it goes uh, this radiolucency is surrounded from top and below uh, from a continuous radio op opaque line which represents the roof and the floor of the cavity what is known as the tram lines. Uh, this canal when it passes in the mandible it especially when it goes cl close to the uh, third molars it should not change its direction or course but as you unlike what you see here you see that in speaking of the lower third molar we see that the inferior dental canal starts normal and then when it reaches close to the apex of this impacted tooth it will change the, the, the course and then continues normally up till here and then it loops and opens into the mental form. So, Let's have a look at the, uh, this part and you, as you can see, first of all, there is a change in the direction. Second, there is a reduction in the size of the canal. Okay. Three, there is loss of the superior border of the, uh, of the, uh, of the roof of the canal. Okay and you can see here that there is also blunting of the tooth it's, it's not the roots the apex is not as sharp as the uh, lower uh, six in this case let us concern first of all on the canal so there is a change one there is reduction or narrowing of the canal and there is loss of the upper tram line of the canal all these will indicate that there is a close relationship or there is a, that the canal is passing very close to the apex of the impacted tooth. Okay? If we go to the left side, we will see that almost the same uh, uh, criteria or the radiographic criteria are present. This is the canal, okay? One, there is a change in the canal, course of the canal. Two, there is a severe narrowing here. If you compare it to the other side, this is even more. It means that the canal is compressed by the apex of the tooth. And, of course, there is the loss of the tram line. In some cases, 
in some cases you will see severe indentation or severe radiolucency at the apex of the root which means that the canal is passing either through the roots which is unlikely or it passing between the two roots in this case we don't find it in this case we don't find it what I suspect in this case is that this blunting in both teeth or loss of unsharp areas at the apices of the teeth is due to the inward uh, or the dilaceration of the roots dilaceration of the roots which uh, the dilacerated part is hidden behind the uh, bulk of the root in either case I think this is the cause behind or the why the two teeth are impacted and they have never erupted plus of course the thick bone which is covering the crown of the teeth and in both cases by the way this is uh, 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 hard tissue impaction there is no soft tissue impaction and the evidence of bone is seen in both cases so to summarize the radiographic signs that would indicate the uh, close relationship or close relation or close approximity of teeth or apex particular, particularly of the impacted tooth to the canal is one uh, change in the direction of, of the course of the canal two uh, narrowing of the canal three loss of either one or two of the tram lines and four is related to the tooth you will see that there is a, n a very dark line crossing the apex of the tooth and uh, this uh, means that the, t the canal has passed through the uh, either the tooth or through the uh, through the uh, in between the roots if you compare this these teeth are extracted this is another case you see that this is the, the canal the canal passes here all the way and then it loops back again this is also an impacted horizontally impacted molar you see it's very far away from the from the canal this is the canal with no change uh, no narrowing no uh, 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 loss of the of the tram lines it means that the tooth is located far away from the canal another case over here I want you to have a look on this side the right molar you will see that the canal has not changed its direction one it has not lost its <coughs> there is no narrowing in the canal plus that the roof and the floor of the canals both of them are uh, still intact and there is no uh, severe indentation of the apex of the root it means that this tooth is or the apex particularly of this tooth is located away <coughs> from the canal in other words this what you see here is actually the superimposition of the canal because this is a 2d image the superimposition of the canal over the roots over the roots but there is no change uh, uh, in direction there is no narrowing if you if you look at the left side again this is the canal over here it goes and ends into the mental foramen extends anteriorly see the canal concentrate on this area no narrowing no change of the direction no uh, loss of uh, tram lines okay it means that this tooth the apex particularly is located away from the canal if we go back to the case that we have started with okay you see that almost all criteria are present in, uh, in, uh, in uh, this which uh, means that if you're going to extract either one or both of these two teeth you should be aware of uh, <coughs> uh, the risks now if this case comes to your clinic I would advise that you will do an occlusal radiograph 90 degree from down so that you will see the direction of the roots apex of the roots because I suspect dilaceration in both teeth uh, so that you would know which side uh, or towards which side the roots have been dilacerated what I suggest is that this 
we would in particular has been dilacerated in this direction so it is dilacerated uh, in a distal direction and the same goes for this one see this one then and you lose the uh, you can't find the apex or the borders of the apex I suspect that this tooth has apex of the tooth has been dilacerated in a distal direction thank you very much